indicators.blogspot.com. I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Visual Studio debugging for NinjaTrader version 6.5. Open up NinjaTrader, go to Tools, Edit, NinjaScript, go to Indicator. Hit the indicator you want. Keep it basic for testing purposes. I'm going to do volume. Alright, so you got the indicator open. Uh, make sure debug mode is checked. Now on your chart, you, you got to have the indicator you want to test. You're going to be debugging. So in this case, I added volume. Right now you can see the very first bar on this 5 minute chart. Right here, the volume is 725. Next volume is 972. So remember that. Okay. Now you need to open up Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 or 2005 Professional Edition. The Express Editions will not work for debugging. Go to Tools, Attach to Process. Go down to IndiTrader EXE, double click. You have to have that chart open. Okay, now you need to select a file. In this case, it's going to be that indicator volume. It. There it is, volume.cs. Alright, so it opens it up. Right now it says it's running. In order to put it in debug mode, what we want to do is add a breakpoint right there. Alright, still not running yet. In order to get it debugging, you need to go to the chart, right click it, and then reload Ninja Script. Okay, now it brings up the Visual Studio 2008. You notice it's debugging now. If you go to the chart, you notice it's got uh, busy because we're debugging it. Still, it's nice to have this uh, display box open showing you your values. Um, actually, this is shows you the last period, which was the 5:10 a.m. In this case, when we debug, it's going to go to the first bar um, on the chart. So remember, the volume was 725. Everything's null right now. So we need to go down to where's it at? volume. It should be the very first one. Yeah, it's the base. Okay. Our current flows, yeah, it was 944.75. Um, the high was 944 or 945. And it's going to tell you the time. Let's go down to the time. So the time was 4.30 a.m. on uh, June 5th. And volume right there, there it is. 725. There's you can add watch so you can see the volume of 725. Now you hit F5 to go to the next bar 972, 689, 1633. Okay, so you see we got it up and running. You can also uh, do a different indicator. Let's do close this, stop debugging. I'm going to add a different one here. Make sure the indicator is on the chart. I'm going to do ADX. ADX. Breakpoint. Alright, remember what you have to do? You have to go to the chart and then hit reload. Make sure this is closed. Get rid of that breakpoint there. Reload Ninja Script. Uh, you have to attach the process. You have to attach the process each time. Go 
running ADX. Our ADX for the first bar was uh, 50. The next one was 53.5, 56. You can't even see the ADX. ADX doesn't even kick in until the uh, the period. Uh, I think if I could, what are our settings here? It's a 14 period, so it really doesn't kick in until the 14th bar. Same goes for the uh, EMA, which is a 14 bar period. Okay, so but just for the sake of this, let's go to uh, the 15th bar here, 4298. All right, let's do 41. All right, so let's debug this. It's running. Now you have to right click the chart, reload Ninja Script, and now we're good. Okay. So now you have ADX up. You want to have it should be the very first one here. The base. ADX. Go down. This is this is like a lot of hogwash here. You don't need to look at all this. What you can do, you just set that breakpoint. And then you want to add the watch. Value dot set. It's a method, so it's not going to work. Um, what else does it work? Let's see. Yeah, yep, that'll work. So just put your watch on this value right here. And that'll give you your 53.5. And then you step through, hit F5, 56, 54, 51. Eventually, we're going to get to that 41 value. 